Well, it is Monday and I am back in the office. I was in Mercer County Superior Court this morning. So I was in Trenton, New Jersey this morning, then came back to the office in Morristown, New Jersey to see some clients in the afternoon session. We'll be in Philadelphia tomorrow morning, back in Pennsylvania again on Wednesday, then back to New Jersey on Thursday. So a busy week for our law firm, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Came with a, with a blog article regarding what occurred in the Bob Kelly case. He is the Fox 29 news reporter who was assaulted in Cape May County, specifically in Sea Isle. And today that assailant pled guilty to aggravated assault of Mr. Kelly. Now, it seems like um, it was graded as an aggravated assault due to the injuries. I did a blog article explaining the difference between simple and aggravated assault in New Jersey. This young man, I think he's 22 years of age, uh, pled guilty to a crime of the third degree where there's a presumption of non-incarceration. doesn't mean that he won't get incarceration, that, that he won't receive a sentence of either uh, state prison or possibly county jail, but it's my understanding that uh, he will likely receive probation. That being said, he could be ordered to be put on electronic monitoring. So there are other alternatives to that. Now, uh, with regards to the charges, I mean, again, it was charged as an aggravated assault. They said that Mr. Kelly had some um, serious injuries to his face. I think maybe possibly uh, he, he, he said it, uh, he was left with a scar. They didn't realize that it was that serious of an injury. I thought perhaps they would have downgraded the charge from an aggravated assault to maybe a simple assault and had him plead guilty to a disorderly person's offense, which is much less serious in New Jersey, but he pled guilty to the felony charge in New Jersey. He can possibly have it expunged eventually in New Jersey. New Jersey's expungement rules are a little different than, say, Pennsylvania's, where you can have a felony ex expunged after a period of time. I have done blog articles on that. With regards to the actual um, case itself, I heard that in the article, I read also that he had tried to apply for PTI, pre-trial intervention, and he was rejected. Now, it seems like he was rejected uh, basically because Mr. Kelly did not agree to it. Now, I, I can understand uh, his position on the case. He probably felt like he, he was obviously injured and this person needed to pay for it. Uh, but that being said, um, PTI sometimes in these cases is something that can happen, but a lot of it depends on the position of the victim. I don't believe that Mr. Kelly has filed a lawsuit. I don't know if he has filed a lawsuit both against the, the young man and also possibly the bar, but I believe that he was there for a work event when it occurred. So that might be a possible conflict of interest if the bar was paying for it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a civil attorney. Uh, but I do know that that may be an issue with regards to why he was there, whether or not he could pursue the bar. And also, I mean, just from a just from a foreseeability standpoint, it probably wasn't foreseeable that someone was going to come up and just smack him in the face like the way he did. Uh, but again, this case is a case that a lot of people have asked about. I put a blog article out there like I do a lot of current cases. I do it not to embarrass people, but to simply show the difference between laws in Pennsylvania and New Jersey and also highlight the difference between, say, a simple assault and an aggravated assault. There is a very big difference, and it's based on the circumstances surrounding the case, also the injuries to the individual. Like, if a, if For instance, a person who receives bodily injury but is a member of a special class, like a police officer or a firefighter, that would also be considered an aggravated assault in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, the website gambonelaw.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, and my videos are available there in one convenient format. So once again, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Have a great Monday, and I'll talk to you all very soon.